Now here's my plan. Day one, audit everything, open the books, and then we end the crazy deficit spending. Will you have to cut education? No, we can fix this mess without hurting the schools. There are no classes available. One of the classes that I went to, the wait list is 47. I will graduate a year later than I had originally anticipated uh, because of, as a direct result of the California budget cuts. And now I'm graduating a year later because I have one little class that I needed to take, but I have to wait an extra semester. And I haven't gotten into a single one of my classes. Access to classes has been deplorable. Everything's either been closed or cut. There's a lot of classes cut here which are required for graduation. I just had a class this morning, my first. I probably sent a dozen people away. I have nine classes I need to graduate as a communications major. I was able to get one this semester. State budget cuts are seriously affecting my ability to learn. I've been in college since 2004 and I want to be done. I'm paying $1,500 for two classes, one of which isn't even toward my major. So I want to know what's going to be done with this. And I think something should definitely be done because that's what you government officials are supposed to do. You're supposed to work for our people. Oh, yes, and Arnold, and yes, for the people of California. Thank you, and God bless all of you. And I think enough people have come to you guys and have made their voices heard and that education is important so I think it's time you guys step up because we've elected you and we've elected you to do something not sit around and do nothing. I will do the people's work and I will take responsibility and be accountable to you. I just really want the people who are supposed to take care of this to step their game up. If we're the future of America and we're not prepared, what happens then? It's a bit unfortunate that we're cutting financing from the school budget system uh, when we should be doing it from a prison industrial complex system. For me, children come first. Always have, always will. I don't care if you have to cut programs other places, but education should come first. Uh, I have no faith in the government that is running California. I have no faith in these people because we um, elected them. Uh, they come to us uh, with, with smiles. Give me your vote. I guarantee you, things will change. But when we turn around, they're trying to uh, take every penny they can out of our pockets, and yet they're trying to still make it so that we don't have fair and equal access to uh, education. The, the, the financial situation, the financial crisis is really bad, so I've had to sell my car just to be able to pay for a semester that I can't even enroll in. They say, in order to graduate, you need to take the classes. Fine, I'll take the classes. Well, there's no classes available. You figure it out. My financial aid didn't even come in time for me to enroll in classes. All right, you have the tuition fee increase and then the budget cut. So it's like a double whammy coming both sides. Oh, that, that the whole economic independence and, and, and the, the, the American dream is pretty much falling apart right now. I was one of those students in high school who was told I wasn't going to go to college. And the only way that I had the opportunity to get an education in the state of California was to take advantage of the California State University system. I've worked in higher education for 20 years because I believe in why the CSU exists. It exists to provide education to the citizens of the state of California. If I don't find a class in the next couple of days, there's a very good chance I'm going to get deported. It's devastating for me to see today the impact as a professional working with college students and student affairs, the fact that many of them are being denied access, denied their futures. I've always seen since I was small struggles to get this far, to get to this accomplishment, which we call college, which is the only key that we have to success because we see no other option. It's either study or be in the streets. And their access and their ability to go to college is because the CSU exists. And so I employ the legislator, the governor, but most importantly the citizens of California to take heed that education is our future. And if we don't invest in it, where will this state be? Just ask the Lisa, baby.